Happy Valentine's Day, Apple Valley. I'm Mayor Kurt Emick. I received more community questions this week. One of them asked, what is going in next door to the new Starbucks on Casoda, across from St. Mary's Medical Center? The developer, Ash Pathy, has announced that Jersey Mike's subs will be opening soon. Remember, if you have any question for me, please email it to info at applevalley.org and I'll try to answer it in my next message update. Speaking of local business, the town has launched two new grant programs to support businesses that have been financially impacted by COVID-19. Our small businesses and entrepreneurs are the lifeblood of our local economy, and when they succeed, our community succeeds. By allocating federal funds, the programs will help inject capital to help our small businesses rebuild and rebound in 2021. The Microenterprise Assistance Program, geared towards businesses with one to five employees, offers grants up to $30,000 for payback of rent and utilities, cash flow for payroll, purchase of PPE supplies, and for services to increase or alter their business, and more. The second program, designed for small businesses with one to 50 employees, offers up to $50,000 for similar capital expenditures. To learn more, including eligibility requirements, and to download an application, visit av.town slash business grant. This Tuesday, St. Mary's Medical Center will launch a vaccination site right here in Apple Valley. To learn more or to register for a vaccination at this or any other site in San Bernardino County, visit sbcovid19.com slash vaccine. I want to thank St. Mary's and their entire team for this service. This past week, my fellow council members and I appointed 10 Apple Valley residents to serve on the Citizens Budget Advisory Committee. Committee members are Jack Betterly, Joanne Betty, Adolph Colasso, Matthew Drake, Forrest Rusty Green, Amanda Hernandez, Anita Itnayer, Lisa Lamb, Dennis Pat Orr, and Regina Weatherspoon Bell. These members will review financial documents and projections and provide recommendations to the Town Council on upcoming budget priorities as the Town strives to respond to the rising costs of services, including police service contracts and flattening revenues, coupled with the recent economic and financial impacts of COVID. I invite our community to participate and view upcoming meetings which will be live streamed on www.applevalley.tv and on our town's local access channels, Local Spectrum 186 and Frontier 29. To learn more, visit av.town slash cbac. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please visit our website or call our offices at 760-240-7000. Have a great week, neighbors. As always, be safe and healthy. Thank you.